Hello and welcome to A Accounting Tutorials. We are continuing our series on the double entry principles. But in this particular video, I want us to look at the balancing of an account and the concepts of the tri balance. But remember that in the part one of this video, we've already looked at the double entry rule. That is the double entry rule for the various class of accounts. That is for personal accounts, nominal accounts, real accounts, and the double entry rule for other assets, liabilities, and capital as well. So our focus on this video is to learn how to balance off an account and how to prepare a trial balance. Afterwards, we may take a full comprehensive question on double entry principle that will help us know how to make the various entries in the various accounts and probably how we should balance of the account and then prepare the complete trial balance. So if you're able to understand this comprehensive question, I bet you, you should be able to solve almost all questions on double entry principles. Is that okay? So before I introduce you to how we balance of an account, we have to first of all know what is balancing of an account. Is that okay? When we talk of balancing of an account, it simply means that the process of summing both debit and credit side of the account to set off against each other in order to determine the difference on the account and that difference is called the balance is that okay so to understand this concept very well i would like us to to take just an example of how an account looks like then we made an entries in the account and see how we we will balance of the account practically so i'll say balancing of an account So balancing of an account. Okay. So let's say that there is a transaction that states that um, a cash sales of five thousand cities cash sales. So there are two different accounts over here. So we're supposed to have the sales account. The sales account. We still need to have cash account. Cash sales of 5,000 cities. So we made a sales and we receive cash. Because we receive cash, we debit cash in the name of sales. So let's say we have sales and the amount is 5,000. So we credit sales in the name of cash, the same 5,000. So let's say that there is another transaction that says that paid rent 2,000 cities. So paid rent 2,000 cities. So we're supposed to have rent accounts. And then cash accounts. But we already have the cash accounts. So when we paid rent, our cash is going out. And then uh, we are paying for rent as an expense. So... For the rule of a real account, we credit what goes out. So our cash is going out, we credit it in the name of rent. Let's say 2000. Then we debit rent. We are using the rule of nominal accounts. That is, we debit all expenses. So in the name of what? Cash. That is 2000. And there is another transaction as well. We say that a credit sales to Kweku, 1000. So there is a credit sales to Kweku. So we have sales account and Kweku's account. So we have Kweku. Kweku's account. Like this. Our sales is going out. Kweku is receiving the products. So we make sales to Kweku. Let's say 1000. Kweku is receiving from sales and is 1000 so let's assume that these are the entries we've made entries in this account is that okay so we are to learn how to balance of this account after balancing of this account we use the balancing figures on this account to prepare the trial balance so we are to learn how to balance of this account in balancing of an account there are four basic steps that we need to go through so with the steps let's use cash account okay let's balance cash account with the help of the steps 
in balancing of an account we sum up both debits and credits the first step is to sum up the debit side and the credit side of the account is that okay so after summing we have unfortunately we have only one transactions so here we have five thousand credit we have two thousand but let's say if this place happens to be three thousand this is one thousand the summation should have been this plus this will give us eight thousand this plus this will give us three thousand so the next step is that we choose the bigger side or the bigger total as the total of both sides is that okay so but let's maintain our previous entry okay so i can say that the debit side is the larger one so the larger one becomes the total so five thousand five thousand the third steps has to do with finding the difference between the smaller side of the account and the bigger side we've already used the bigger side as the total so finding the difference between the bigger side and that of the smaller side the smaller side is 2000 so the difference is 3000 this 3000 is what we call the balance okay so we call it balance carry down so balance cd and the fourth stage is that the balance cd at one side of the account becomes the balance brought down in the opposite side so the opposite side of this is this so we have balance brought down of the same three thousand not three hundred three thousand good so this is how we balance of an account this is how we balance of an account so let's use the same procedure to balance of this and this the remaining accounts so we have only one entry at the debit side meaning that the debit side is the bigger side 2000 credit must also be 2000 so that the difference between the smaller side it means that the credit side we have zero so this becomes smaller as compared to 2000 so the difference is still 2000 and this is what we call the balance carry down the balance carried down at the credit side becomes the balance carried down at the debit side. So we have balance brought down of 2000. Good. I said the balance carried down at the credit side becomes the balance brought down at the debit side. Is that clear? Good. Let's balance up this account. So we still have 1000 as total. 1000 as total. So we have balance carried down of 1000 there will be a balance brought down of the same 1000 then we consider the sales account in balancing the sales account the credit side is the bigger being 6000 and this will be the total for both sides 6000 is this clear in balancing of the account we find a difference between the total and the smaller side so the smaller side we have nothing so balance carry down becomes the same 6000 balance carry down at the debit side becomes balance carry down at the credit side so we have balance brought down of 6000 so this is how we balance of an account so after you are able to balance of an account the next thing to do is to prepare what we call a trial balance so what is then a trial balance a trial balance it is a statement prepared to show all the debit balances and the credit balances on an account at a particular date to show the arithmetic accuracy of the ledger entries okay so this account is prepared to show all debit balances of an account and credit balances of an account at a particular date in order to help check the arithmetic accuracy of the account balances is this clear very good so with this definition we can based on this to prepare a trial balance so this is how a trial balance looked like so we have trial balance a trial balance so trial balance it is a statement so it is prepared assets 
to be as at the year end or as at the end of the month so we have this happens to be the details here will be debit entries and here will be credit entries we have our currency sign very good the preparation of trial balance is very simple is that okay it is very simple in such a way that it is a matter of picking the debit balance of an account to the debit side and the credit balance of an account to the credit side is this clear very good but take note that we are cons let's consider rent account an example because the balance brought down is at the debit side of rent account we will say that rent account has a debit balance when we look at sales account, the, the balance brought down is at the credit side. So we say that sales account has a credit balance. Is that okay? So in preparing the trial balance, let's say we pick rent. Rent will be under the details. Rent has a debit balance of 2000. So we say that 2000 at the debit side. The next one is sales. Sales is at the credit side has a credit balance so we say that six thousand good the next account is kweku so we see that kweku and this kweku is a data right so kweku is a data and it has a debit balance of one thousand good the next account is cash account cash cash has a debit balance of thirty thousand so debit balance of thirty thousand very good so after making all the entries it is about picking the, the the closing balance or the balance brought down and put it at its um, respective side so the next thing to do is to add so the total of this is six thousand the total of this is also 6,000 so we say that the trial balance has balanced it has balanced because the entries are made correctly so this trial balance help us check the arithmetic accuracy of the account balances in other words it also help us to detect errors but take note that not all errors that are detected by the trial balance there are some errors that do not affect the agreement of the trial balance and there are some errors that affect the agreement of the trial balance so it, it is not necessary that after you are able to balance off your trial balance your entries are right some errors could be an omission when you completely omit a transaction your trial balance will balance with a different figure you may think you are right but just put it at the back of your mind that not all errors are detected by the trial balance is that okay and this trial balance it, it provides us with information to prepare the financial statements as i said earlier on this trial balance provides us with information to prepare the financial statement that is the income statement and the statement of financial position so if the double entry we've made is wrong and the trial balance is also wrong it means that the profits that you ascertained in the income statement will be wrong and you know that investors based on the profit of the business to make decision is that okay so this is how the concepts of balancing of an account and the trial balance looks like we are yet to take a very comprehensive question and solve it together so understanding this particular question i said it's help you to solve all double entry questions but i'll just end this video over here and in the very next video we take the full practice question and solve it together. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel. You turn on your notification bell so that any moment I upload any new video, you'll get notified on your devices. Until we meet, I think it is bye for now.